Hi, my name is Steve. I'm the IT manager at Nice Sitting in Air, and this is video number three in a set, uh, sorry, number two into a series of three um, that have to do with the price book. The first video that I made uh, explained all the different categories in the price book, equipment, materials, services, and what could be changed in them. This video will have something to do with uh, the book updater and the price book connect or the catalogs, if you prefer and how it works. So let's start with the bulk updater because this is relatively simple. There's a function to export into Excel that allows you to modify things in bulk. But if you are only want to update things or like uh, add a prefix to names, stuff like that, the bulk updater is very, very nice to do that. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go under services and I'm going to look into all the tasks that start with BE uh, with the BE here. So I'm going to look into, for example, BE. I could say, all right, go in into edit mode. I'm going to select, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here and say, let's, I want to say, okay, those are special. I want to change their skew or I want them to have something in between uh, before them. I could click on it and say prepend or append prepend. Of course, adds something before append adds something after. So let's say I want to uh, append, uh, prepend this with fake dash. Once you apply, it will apply it to them. Now, the only thing I would say to this little feature that is very nice, and by the way, you can do it with categories, with descriptions. You can do it with things that don't show in here either. Um, the only thing there are some things that you cannot uh, bulk edit. Like for example, if you want to bulk uh, enable inventory on items, you can't do that here. But um, you can add uh, linked equipment. You can you know set a static pricing or however you want to do it. It can be that this usually can be done through the bulk updater. Now, the only thing I would say to be careful of is let's say that I just search for something else here, Diagmem. I noticed that even though the items we just edited are no longer here, if you look at the square here, it's almost like they're still selected. I've noticed in the past that that caused me some issues where it still seems to edit things that are selected in the background, even though it's not showing. So once you're done editing something and you're editing something else right after, unselect it just be safe i would say so i'm going to go ahead and you could you could go ahead and edit this but this is how the bulk editor allows you to do this and you can bulk it in materials as well as equipment i think in uh, categories you cannot but categories is already simple in itself um i think you might also be able to well i know templates they're working on redoing the templates but yes that's basically it so now let's try to go look at the price book connect price book connect is catalogs of vendors or um uh so the providers that service center has integrated with that allows them to show their books which include a good marketing description a description of the uh, the equipment or the materials uh, images and stuff like that something that is like pre-booked for new companies that add a new vendor to their book so let's say for example we're going to go to goodman here i'm going to go to the um uh oh okay so this one i don't actually have access to the full hvac equipment so let's go look let's say duckless, duckless mini splits i'm gonna look at heat pumps those oh, okay so this one doesn't actually have an image but usually they will have an image and they will allow you to um have a description and everything let's go look at another vendor uh let's go linux oh there we go this one is more complete so as you can see the vendor books are going to be in a various state of completion. So that's why I do recommend you uh, inspect what you're adding before you do add it. But let's say I want to check out the uh, uh, 16, AC, AC, uh, 16 ACX ACs. I can go here. You can see there's a description. The supplier name is set. There's no linked materials on this one. So you're going to have to make your own if you want to link equipments. Um, they don't have a cost because this is a vendor price book, not a provider price, but like a, 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 you know, like a, this is a price book straight from Linux, not from the, uh, the original vendors, but there are sometimes some, uh, price book from regional vendors, such as if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, uh, Ari Michael that is in server stack that allows you to sync your book. Once you sync something, let's say I'm going to want to sync this. I can add it to the price book. It's going to automatically add it and also create the categories for it. 
Now I'm only adding one equipment, so this should not take this long. There we go. So I, if I go in categories now, you're gonna see I'm gonna have to have a new, I'm gonna have a new Linux category here for ACs. And if I uh, preview, I'm gonna go in uh, Linux ACs, 16 ACX, and you're gonna see I'm gonna have all the information that was in the book and it has description, it all has all that good stuff. Now, the only thing is there's no pressing, so you have to still go back and add, it, add your own pressing to it. But that's as simple as going to, I'm um, just gonna go back to the press book. Yeah, yeah, just go back. Okay, exit out of this. I'm just gonna go to equipment. The 16 ACX that's right here. You're gonna see, like for example, here there's Linux, but it's locked. That's because some of this stuff is set to be updated with the, uh, with the press book connect. So you can modify things in here. The only thing you can't modify is the brand manufacturer and model, but I'm pretty sure you can even unset that in the Pressbook Connect uh, catalog if you want. Like updates here, you can tell under category here and say, uh, I don't want to dismiss selected. You can probably dismiss the update and the, and the name and all that. You can do all your management that you need here. So um, this is the way you can manage your press books. You're still gonna need to update your cost, but like I said, some providers will have an appropriate cost for you. It depends on what kind of provider it is. So this allows you to have stuff that is completely pre-baked in your book and makes your life a whole lot easier as a service like user. I hope this helped.